The driving mission of JVS is to help Angelinos get back to work and achieve their goals. An artist facing a disability that could end his career. Returning veterans coming home to a challenging job market. A young refugee whose courage inspires us all. These are just a few of the thousands of individual lives JVS is changing every day. Harry Aguado worked in the music business as a lyricist and composer for nearly 30 years. When the effects of a devastating disease threatened to end his career, JVS helped him develop a unique solution. What I have is a hereditary disease called Stargardt's. Random cells in the center of my retina, which is called the macula, which is used for fine-tuning and focusing, die. And as my doctor pointed out, that would probably not result in blindness, but he said that my old age might look like a Surratt painting. As my eyes progressed, things became more complicated. I went over and sat down at the piano and realized I could not read any of my own music. I could not play any of the parts back and I couldn't conduct the rehearsal, and it was heartbreaking. It's very isolating, and what it has meant in the long term for me is that 30 years of work are basically sketched and in fragments. What he needed is some assistance with assistive technology and learning how to use it so that the tools that he's used to using are accessible to him. With the help of JVS, I was able to develop a specific business plan and timeline which would allow me through a series of very practical steps to achieve my goals. My CCTV is a new system which has a 42 inch flat screen plasma monitor, a Yamaha keyboard, a six track mixer, uh, two MIDI interfaces, there's a series of microphones and other devices for recording directly. But the 42-inch monitor, you can imagine, gives me quite a degree of visibility. Given everything, his plan, his expertise, I think he is going to fly with it. Last night I was sitting at this equipment and I didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. Um, the world all of a sudden is flooding back uh, to me with opportunity. For the first time I feel, since I can remember, that I am whole and that my promise is whole. Through JVS and all of the assistive technology that I was able to obtain, I was able not only to catch up for the years that I had lost due to my progressive eye loss, but I was also able to take giant leaps forward and made it possible for me to do any number of projects that I never would have been able to do before. I became literate in these formats and in these technologies. As they evolved, I was able to evolve with ease. So the current state-of-the-art forms of all of these technologies are the ones that I'm using. Once it, you play it in the piano, it evaporates. Having this studio has been central to what I would consider my mature development as an artist. Since 2004, I've been able to create a number of new projects. The one that matters most to me is a brand new musical theater piece, my latest work, Home. I took the tracks that I had generated here with my equipment to Tom Grief's studio in Hancock Park where we recorded lead vocal, backup vocal parts. We laid some piano on top of it. She got it, great. Right. Now right. piano up. I looked for ways that I could possibly start to give back to my community. One of my proudest accomplishments was writing a grant that resulted in a national award to the city of West Hollywood for its work for the disabled. This resulted in a check for $25,000 which we set aside for assistive technology in the new West Hollywood Library. Thanks to JBS, I'm fully equipped. 
I have the capacity to bring my work to the audiences and people that it was meant for. You have loved him and let him go. Perfect. Well done. I'm from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I was a journalist. My first story was about a girl. I think she was at the age of 10. By the time I stepped my feet there, she's already dead. What Juliet encountered that evening was a horrific scene. A young girl who had bled to death because of the practice of female genital mutilation, or FGM. This organization, this female genital mutilation, it should be stopped. After that moment, I went to hospitals and I started to do my research. I was really exposing them. I would take pictures of what they did. Somebody would call me at night and would say, you better leave this organization alone. And I would say, I'm doing my job. Juliet had a goal not only to educate her readers and the people of Sierra Leone, but also to eradicate the practice of FGM. I was attacked by several women, so they grabbed me, one sitting on my leg, another on my leg, and one sitting on my chest. They did the female genital mutilation. On me, I started weeping, and I was crying, and I was bleeding. They said that would make me shut my mouth and leave them alone. If I was still in Africa, they would kill me. I got a visa. I ran away. My flight was at night. I narrowly escaped. When I came to the United States, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know anybody. I don't even know where to even get food or water. I met a lady. She's from my country, and she allowed me to stay with her. She couldn't lift her eyes. She couldn't look at me. I hugged her, and they say, okay, smile to me. I explained everything. Then she said, they will help me. Then I told Miss Larissa that I want to be a nurse. Juliet came to my Health Works training program through her case manager, Larissa. I walked out into the lobby, and I saw this beautiful girl, but her face was just blank. Juliet was looking for some structure, some guidance, a program. Each one of them, they would tap me and say, Juliet, don't worry, everything is gonna be okay. JVS provided Juliet with an opportunity for a certified nurse assistant training program. We provided her with the tuition. And JVS did everything for me. Juliet truly excelled in the Health Works training program and passed the state certification exam with flying colors. When I graduated from the CNA program, it was wonderful. I weep. Tears were flowing from my eyes. She was immediately hired. She literally started work the day after graduation. She called me, Julia, there's another program coming up for LVNs. She said, Jamie, I'm ready to go to LVN school. We want them to continue on, to reach higher and higher. We found a school that was approved for federal financial aid. I got her an interview, and she was selected for their December 2009 class. I love school. She's very studious, very attentive in class, very, very motivated to succeed. Juliet is learning the skills of a vocational nurse. She's learning the fundamentals of nursing, medical surgical nursing care, pediatric nursing care, um, maternal child health nursing care. We've gotten her on a path that's really going to lead her to some security and happiness. I want to become a doctor, a gynecologist. I want to save lives and still express my feeling of compassion to my fellow human beings. Without JVS, I wouldn't have had a future. Without JVS, I wouldn't have even survived. JVS wiped my tears away. They restored my happiness, give me joy, put smile on my face. I deployed to Iraq 
My MOS was uh, 13 Bravo, which was a cannon crewman. I actually did a tour in Iraq. I served overseas. I spent eight years in the Army. A commissioned officer in the National Guard. I was a corpsman. In the combat zone, a corpsman is able to uh, treat a gunshot wound, is able to apply tourniquets, trained to do everything a nurse is able to do. The central mission of Veterans First is to help veterans transition to civilian employment. It's not just training, it's career and life counseling as well. It was hard to be back. When you come back, you don't have that same kind of uh, direction anymore. I immediately volunteered to do a second appointment. It may be the toughest assignment of all for men and women who are leaving the military after years of service, finding a job on the home front. Skills alone is, and experience is just not cutting it nowadays. The other candidates, they just look better on paper. They had a degree. I've never been unemployed this long. I was out of work for a while. It's really hard to deal with the feelings of being unemployed for the fact that uh, I have the experience and I have the education, yet they won't hire me. They won't give me the opportunity. I don't have two dollars right now. I still remember the, the hesitation of how to find the right words to say, I don't have the money to pay rent. I think Alma really represents persistence and determination. Veterans First literally saved me by giving me hope. We're able to provide short-term occupational certification so that they can get back into the working field as soon as possible. First started with JVS um, when I was unemployed. Veterans First has uh, funded my training program so that I can get the necessary certifications that will make me a Microsoft certified technician. While Anthony is completing his training, we're helping him with his job search, giving him referrals, and providing links to open positions. I wanted really to focus more in hospital uh, careers. Veterans First has partnerships with many training providers. The hands-on training class was fantastic. JVS has uh, helped me by offering training such as EMT, and now I'm taking phlebotomy. We're very one-on-one. -on -one. The service that we provide, we provide for the individual. My whole attitude changed, my whole outlook changed. JVS and Veterans First has made a huge difference in my life. Veterans First provides a sense of community and support through our battle buddy groups. So we have veterans come together and be able to just share their story. I was able to feel more like a family and knew that it wasn't just me struggling. My brothers were struggling too and we helped each other. My experience as a combat veteran allows me to make the connection with other veterans. We make sure they're job ready so that when we do send them out interviews, they're able to obtain the position. Bettering my resume, getting my foot in the door. I did finish my certification. I'm working full time in the medical field and I am very happy. JVS was the only organization that helped me get through the bad times. I will never forget that they just truly believed in me and were there to help me unconditionally. Programs like Veterans First is definitely necessary. I had that family in the military, but Nothing compares to having that support back home. Veterans can offer an employer leadership, discipline, responsibility. They have literally been through hell and back, so there's nothing you can throw at us that we cannot handle. They served our country, so honor a hero and hire a vet. I definitely would recommend JVS to other veterans. They take care of their soldiers.